Hello and welcome to this tutorial for Sinolera CV. I'm going to try and talk a little bit about making the most of transitions in Sinolera. Sinolera doesn't have a huge number of preset transitions, but you can do an awful lot by combining the transitions with various other effects and also multiple tracks. I'm not going to be showing you specific effects in, in this, more kind of how to think about going about building your own. So. The first thing to note is you can do this with any number of any of these effects. I'm going to use a dissolve because it's the simplest one. So I'm just going to drag a dissolve onto the space between these two clips. Yeah. So the first thing to note is that an effect actually affects an area of the timeline, not a specific clip. So even though I drop the blur effect onto clip 2 and it defaults to the section of clip 2, I can drag it back. Excuse me. <laughs> rookie mistake. I can drag it back. Um, and I can drag it in from this end too. And middle clicking just is a good habit in case you have other effects along the timeline just to make sure that you don't affect those boundaries there. Um, the second thing is of course then through keyframing we can um, make this, say we set a keyframe here, make sure the blur is at zero. And then also at the penultimate frame we similarly set the keyframe at zero. And then towards the middle increase the blur, uh, increase the blur, and if I play it now you end up with a cross between a dissolve and a blur which I know is a preset on many other video editing programs. Um, and of course you can do that with, with brightness, with, with any other kind of um, effect that you'd like. So that's the first thing just in terms of affecting um, the, the preset transitions is just to remember that you have got multiple options. The next thing though is to bring in multiple tracks. And then if I copy this section, copy, on track 2, edit, paste. The first thing is that we can do something with the overlay modes here. So as you can see, we've got, um, expanding the, uh, in the patch bay, we've got, let's go for addition. Uh, you can experiment with the rest of these, but I find addition works best in, in this particular application when you're talking about uh, creating transitions. This symbol here is the keyframe. Um, if you click mode, it'll disappear, and view mode, it'll reappear. So you can keyframe the overlay mode. Uh, and as you can see, it makes it suddenly much brighter. So if I then bring the fade down and raise it there, you get a kind of flare effect in the middle of your dissolve, which looks quite nice. And of course, you can also add an effect to this section here. So um, for instance, any effect that you would require a multiple track for. So for example, were I to add a uh, chroma key to this, uh, expand that backwards, I'm going to turn off track 1 momentarily so that we can see what we're doing with the chroma key. Um, as you can see, it's, it's way too, too powerful at the moment. Uh, if I go for something that's not going to be as obvious, there we go. Uh, so we have this bright blue that's still visible here. And then if I go down and I add a color effect and take the whole thing down to yep, down to grayscale with the YUV by bringing the U and the V down to one end and the Y at the other. And then if I turn this track black on and play it, we get a kind of strange grayscale flare effect there, as you can see. Um, and that's just me messing around to, to show you an example, I mean you'd, you'd want to refine that, but you have a lot of options as soon as you begin to think in terms of layering effects and tracks together in order to create more interesting transitions. And that's the end of this tutorial. Happy transitioning!